Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on 9i for graphs from axes intercepts. Okay. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can graph quadratic functions by starting with the x-intercepts. Alright, so first thing we're going to want to take a look at is that <clears throat> if we know that the x-intercept, if we know the x-intercepts of a graph, we can use that information to find the vertex of the graph, and then we'll have enough information to sketch the graph. Okay. So what I mean by that is, if we know the x-intercepts, we can find the axis of symmetry, which is where the x-coordinate of the vertex is. Okay. <clears throat> so the axis of symmetry should always be halfway between the x-intercepts. For example, if the x-intercepts are at uh, negative 1 and 5, so let's say we have a little graph here, so we've got negative 1, and 5 are our two intercepts here, the x-intercepts. <clears throat> we would want to look halfway in between these two numbers. So we'd say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 6 points, 6 units across. So if we just count 3 either way, 1, 2, 3, this right here at x equals 2 is going to be our axis of symmetry. Okay? So somewhere along that axis of symmetry we know that the um, vertex has to be so that so in other words we know now that the x coordinate of the vertex has to be at 2 okay so now that we know that what we want to do is we're going to plug that in to find the y value of the vertex so what we would do is we would plug um, 2 into our function and that we would simplify and that would tell us what the y is okay so um, let's put that into action here. All right, we're going to take a look at an example from your book, which is example 26 from page 302. We're going to sketch a graph of the following by considering um, the value of a, so that's the leading coefficient, the y-intercept and the x-intercepts. Okay. Um, I really find it probably is going to be easiest to find the um, x-intercepts first and then we can find the y-intercept and then we can find the a. Okay, So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, let's let's try to factor this and see if we can factor it. That'll make our life easy. So we want to know when 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. So if we can find factors of 3 that have a difference of 2, which we can, that's just 3 and 1. This sign here goes with the bigger of the 2 and this sign tells us that we're opposite. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and negative 3 plus 1 gives us negative 2. So the x-intercepts then will be x intercepts are when these equal 0. So 3 and negative 1 would be our x-intercepts. Okay. Uh, again, to find the y-intercept, we would we're going to plug in. Um, 0 for our x to find out what the y-intercept is. So y equals 0 squared minus 2, 2, that's terrible, sorry, 2 times 0 minus 3. So again, that turns into 0, that turns into 0, so y-intercept is negative 3. So we got the y-intercept, we got the x-intercepts, and the value of a here is simply 1, so up 1 over 1. So if we're going to go through and we're going to sketch this thing, let's see what we can come up with. Alright, so we know that our x-intercepts are at 3 and negative 1, so 1, 2, 3, let's change our color here and make it a little easier to find. So 3 and negative 1. We also know that the y-intercept's at negative 3. And really if we want to find the vertex, which it didn't actually even ask us to find, but if we did, we would say that see this is 1, 2, 3, 4 units apart. So here's our axis of symmetry. So we know it's got to be down here somewhere. Yeah. So again, if we know that the axis of symmetry is at 1, 
you could just plug one into our equation here and see what we get. So let's just try that and see what we get. So the y coordinate of the vertex is y equals 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3. So it's 1 minus 2 minus 3. So the y coordinate of the vertex is negative 4. Okay, so the so we could do at 1 and at negative 4, and there's our vertex. 1, negative 4. We also have the y-intercept and the x-intercepts. We've got all sorts of information to draw our graph. All right, so there's a nice quadratic function with all sorts of good info. Um, we can do the same thing here. Okay, so first thing, let's go through and find our x-intercepts, and this is actually a little bit nicer, because this essentially over here is y equals negative 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. All right, so the x-intercepts, is just what's going to make this, because we know now that y is going to be 0, so the x-intercepts, this has to be 0 or this has to be 0. So the x-intercepts are negative 1, because negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and positive 2, because 2 minus 2 also gives us 0. Okay, if we're looking for the y-intercepts, y equals negative 2 times 0 plus 1, from 0 minus 2. So that's negative 2 times 1 times negative 2. So the y intercept is at 4. Alright, and we already found our x intercepts. So if we're going to go through and graph this thing. We have our, <clears throat> excuse me, our um, x-intercepts are negative 1. Oops, again, let's change our color here. Negative 1 and at 2. The y-intercept is at 4. So we know it's going to look something like this. This is 1, 2, 3 across here. So really our, our line of sim axis symmetry is going to be here at 1 half. Not going to be very fun to plug in 1 half. Good news is we don't really have to. It's just going to be roughly up here somewhere. And then sketch it down like that. All right, and that's all there is. So now you should be able to say that you can graph quadratic functions by starting with uh, x-intercepts. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask. Thanks. <clears throat>